Hello, my name is Deodi Valashi, and in this quick demo I would like to show you how you can deploy a Visual Studio Database project to SQL Azure. The problem is that this project type does not support SQL Azure directly, so you need some many tricks and workarounds to deploy your database schema and data into the cloud. Here is a demo project I would like to introduce you that contains um, a database project. And the first step I would like to show you how you can uh, divide your uh, data to a set of master data and a bunch of test records you do not want to deploy into the cloud. So here I have two SQL script files. The basic data that SQL, SQL file contains only those test records, only those records that are mandatory for, for this application. And the other file, the test data the SQL file, contains only the test records that I want to deploy only into the test environment, staging environment, but not into the production environment. Trick number one, how you can uh, run the test data the SQL file only when you need it. To achieve this, I set up a deploy test data a local variable and I set its value to true. This variable can be referenced in a SQL script. For example, in the post deployment that SQL file, I can embed this local variable into a SQL statement, for example, into an if statement, and I can reference to this variable. For example, if this deploy test data variable equals true, then it this script will run also the test data the SQL file. If the value of this local variable is not true, then the test records will not be inserted into the database. So this is the trick. After you configure the post deployment script files like this, you can generate the output script uh, using the build or deploy command from the SQL database project type. The output of this uh, project will be a database SQL file that I already opened in the SQL Server Management Studio. If you would like to run uh, this uh, script file here in Management Studio, you will receive some errors because it contains some kind of syntax which will not be recognized by default by the Management Studio. This is this uh, this is an example for the strange syntax. Colon set war is uh, not something uh, like SQL. It's something like SQL uh, command. Uh, SQL CMD is a command line tool for SQL Server, and you have to go to the query menu and switch on SQL CMD mode to help the management studio to understand this kind of syntax. So here is the variable I showed you in the in the Visual Studio, and I already set its value to false, uh, so it will not insert the test data into our database. I connect it to my local database and to the master, uh, master database in my local database instance and when I click execute it will just build uh, the database with its schema without the test data but with our master data into my local, data, local SQL Server instance. If I go here and refresh you can see that this is my database I just created. Why cannot run the script directly in SQL Azure? Unfortunately, the output of the database project contains some references, objects, syntax that are not recognized by the SQL Azure. So the first step is to build the database locally, then generate a script from this database that is compatible with SQL Azure. So you can go here, right click on your database, select task and generate scripts. Go to the next page of the wizard and select the objects you would like to embed into your output script. And here is an important option. Go to advanced and select that you would like to generate a script for SQL Azure. Here is script for database engine type. Important, select SQL Azure database. And if you have some data like me, then switch to schema and data in the types of data to script option. If you would like to deploy only a schema without any record, you can just select schema only. If you have only data, you can data only. And uh, if you are like me with schema and data, just select schema and data. I strongly recommend you to 
uh, check the other options for example because indexes are not exported by default so you can just go here select uh, script indexes set it to true and it will just cause that the indexes will be also scripted there are separate options for constraints keys unique keys triggers and so on just check them after you've finished you can select where you want to want the manager studio to generate the script i select the new query window here it is voila here we have our scripts that script that is absolutely compatible with sql azure you can just select it, go and copy it to the clipboard, connect to your SQL Azure database and run it. I already connected to the SQL Azure because it's really easy if you have Management Studio uh, for uh, SQL Server R2 because that's, that already supports SQL Azure. Just go here, select the database you would like to run on script, onto, let's go here, paste and execute and it will build and create the tables and insert the master data you need go here refresh here are my tables just run a quick check select star from category to show you we have already also test data here they are so this is how you can deploy a visual studio database project to sql azure if you find it useful please tell it to your friends if you don't please tell it to me thanks for watching